Developing news in Summers and Vernon, where investigators are searching now for a person who opened fire outside of an apartment complex and then crashed an SUV following a police pursuit. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Roger Suzanne has the latest information now on the investigation and the search for the shooter. Vernon police officers tell us they feel very fortunate that no one was seriously injured, but they stress the fact that this shooter has proven to be both armed and dangerous, so the search will continue until this criminal is brought to justice. Repairmen were busy covering a busted window with cardboard to keep the cold air out of an apartment that was struck by gunfire. Police say a dispute outside the Park West Apartments in Vernon ended when someone pulled out a gun and fired. That shooter is still on the loose. As the day goes on, we're looking for the public help. You know, we're looking for anyone in the neighborhoods here that sees anything suspicious, that, that notices anyone suspicious, uh, to call 911. Police say people who weren't involved in the dispute were inside when the bullet tore through, but luckily no one got hit. The shooter took off in a red Jeep, but a nearby officer pursued them until the criminal crashed the SUV in Summers and ran from the scene. Then the hunt was on. We had about 20 officers uh, from the Connecticut State Police, the Vernon Police, Enfield Police, and the East Windsor Police uh, searching with several canine teams as well as uh, two drone units. But despite that extensive search, police have not been able to track the shooter down. Investigators warn the public should be careful because the person they are looking for has proven willing to resort to violence. Use extra caution as they go about their routines this morning uh, because the suspect does remain on the loose. Vernon police did arrest one person who they say was involved in the dispute that kicked off this morning's violence, but they stressed that that person is not the shooter. Now, earlier, police told people who live in Summers to shelter in place that order has now been lifted, but the Summers superintendent of schools decided to make all classes virtual today out of an abundance of caution. Reporting in Vernon, I'm Roger Susanen, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.